Our conversation continues on the controversy of about saying that uh, 22,750 uh, Nigerian students obtained thick, uh, certificates from unaccredited universities in Togo and Benin Republic. Earlier, we're having a conversation with Abdul Razak, who is uh, uh, the secretary of the West African University's alumni, Abdur Abdul Razak Momojimo. And now joining us live in the studio is Joshua Olalik, Olakunli. There we go. He is the director of West Africa Affairs, NANS Diaspora. Uh, Joshua Olalikon. Uh, Ola Kunli. There we go. There is Ola Lekon in the street, in our, in our uh, uh, correspondent yeah. who covered Our correspondent this. who covered the so stories, actually. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's, uh, so, Joshua, well, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much, um, Now, Nans has been very vocal in this bonking, you know, in debunking these allegations. Can you tell us why Nans believes that the minister's figures are inaccurate? Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me here this morning. Um, first of all, I would like to say that ever since the whole issue started, since January, we've been trying to gather our facts. We've been trying to work together with the necessary stakeholders to make sure that whenever we are presenting anything, we are doing it right and we are not making any errors. So while fast forward to the time when the minister made the, the declaration of those policies, and we, we, we saw it as an error on, on the part of the Ministry of Education because we know for sure, and we even have evidences of evaluation letters from different of these private universities from 2017, even as far back before 2017, from 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23, to, okay, not to 24, but to 23. So if the minister is now coming out to tell us that there are only five universities, um, he said five universities recognized, mm -hmm. not accredited, recognized. So that means that there are more other universities for him to have stayed up. And we have evidences to show that this is not just only about those five universities. And we've, been, we've, we've moved from here to Abuja, from Abuja to Benin Republic, just to gather our fact and figure. So we, are, we, can, we can actually tell you that those figures are not right. Okay. The minister was very, very specific. Yeah. He mentioned, and you also noted that he said recognized not accredited, he mentioned five universities. He also mentioned a timeline from 2019 to 2024. Yes, now for anybody who's got certificates from that timeline, I can imagine what they're going through, especially after using them for either employment or furthering in their education. Mm -hmm. So their reputation is at stake. Yeah. So what is the body actually doing regarding the reputation of these students who have these certificates and are from Nigerian, uh, Nigeria? Okay, as, as NANS Diaspora is concerned, because we have NANS Nigeria and we have NANS Diaspora, we know it's our job to make sure that we bring um, credibility and uh, we bring back the confidence to our students on telling them, letting them be assured that, okay, you getting your certificate from the Republic is not a crime. And then every other student that studied in diaspora, you are also part of them. You're also one of them. We need to bring back that confidence to them. So now this is what we've done over the time. We've, we, because of this, on that, uh, my president, which in person of Chris Juwan, he came in, he flew in from Australia to Abuja. We went to meet the Minister of Education. We met with um, Dr. Sununu, the Minister for um, the Minister of State for Education, and he gave us his words. He said, though they've set up an interministerial committee, and then to look into the matter, they've come back with their report, and then the report they have is that okay, they are looking into it to see how they can work with the report. And the next thing he said that that if the school in Benin Republic or in Togo, that their certificate is valid, it's, not, it's there on their Twitter page. August 1st, he gave that statement on their Twitter page that is valid, but accreditation is key. So now the accreditation is key that he said, we now took it upon ourselves for our students to have that confidence that, okay, you're, for you studying in Benin Republic does not make you a, does not make you a criminal because um, the, the minister also made the statement. He said they are not victims; they are culprits, mm. which is not right. They are culprits. That's what uh, they are culprits. Said. Yes, that they are not victims; they are culprits. It's not right. Mm. It's not criminal to go to school in, in a neighboring country. There are bilateral agreements on that. And so I ask again. I've asked this question earlier, and I have to ask you again: Are there some truth to these allegations, or is this a ploy? 
for Nigerians not to go outside to neighboring countries to school? Well, I, I wouldn't know if it's a ploy for them not to go outside university, um, outside Nigeria, but of the truth is these people have the right, Nigerian students have the right to go to any country they deem fit. Even in Benin Republic, we were there, we, we were at the embassy just about last week or two weeks ago. My, my team were at the embassy, we went to meet with the ambassador, but he was able to represented by the Council on Education, and she told us, Parents do go to the embassy, as far as they go to the embassy in the country, to confirm. I'm bringing my children here, I'm bringing my ward to this country to school. So please tell me, show me the list of the schools that are accredited, not even recognized, that are accredited by this government. Mm -hmm. They will get their facts right there at the embassy, and then they come back to the Ministry of Education, to the Department of Education Service Support and Services, to meet them at the Evaluation Center. Give me, let me, they will give them, there's a bulky note there. Mm -hmm to show that these schools are accredited. What has been the mood like with your members and the parents as well since this news huh. you, you don't, you don't want to You don't want to feel the heat we are feeling right now because we get calls every day. Student parents are crying. Students are crying. Even some of them, okay, I got a call from some students. They are working in the private sector here in Nigeria. Already they've served, mm -hmm. and now they are working. And I call them, what is your employer saying? Oh, you guys are not in trouble. He said, the, the employer said that you guys are delivering. Mm. So we don't see the reason why we should lay you off. Even better than some of the Nigerian, some of the students that went to Nigerian schools. Implication. So you guys are delivering. So what we want is you're doing your job. You're delivering what we want. So definitely we're going to keep you. You don't have problem with what you're carrying. We have what we, you're delivering. You're giving us what you know. So that is enough for us. So but let's, mm. let's look at some student that doesn't have that opportunity. Some are just trying to get employed. Some are trying to get... Now, even this same Ministry of Education have sponsored students from Bene Republic and Togo to study master's program abroad on scholarship. Hmm. Now, after such a blanket statement by the minister uh, implicating all of these uh, students, what would the solution be like? Would, uh, is your body, uh, the students and parents expecting the minister to come out and give a totally different... Uh, remark regarding these certificates would that do is that good enough a solution to this uh, yes situation? actually i think it's a step is a start to the solution and if we're all we're all expecting both our body nuns diaspora and then both the parents both the students we are all expecting them to come forward because of all the facts and evidences that are physical these are not just um these are not just mouth saying they are physical we have ex uh, we have evidences of um of of evaluation letters even recently, Benin Republic released an accredited list of universities where those five universities, which are public universities in Benin Republic, are also listed, 2024, 2025. They do the accredit accreditation every year. Mm. Not like Nigeria, the NUC will just come once in four years, once in three years, or once in five years. But in Benin Republic, they do it every year to make sure that they are checkmating the standard of academics you are giving to foreigners. If you are not up to their standard or up to the standard that is, is equivalent to their country, these standards, they will they, stop you. Are these standards better than the Nigerian university standards? Is that what it, you, you're saying? Is, is that what it means? No, I'm not saying it's better. But I could can't, it be? I, you know, I, I, I can't quantify that. Mm. I can't quantify that. But what I'm trying to tell you is the country is making sure that they're putting check and balance into their system, not to allow it being hijacked by those that are not professionals. What's the, what's the, what's the culture like in, in these universities? I'm very intrigued in terms of like the, the, um, uh, the ethnicity of the students there um, in these universities. Are there Nigerians, Ghanaians, you know, um, diasporan Africans there? How diverse. You know, yeah, very yeah. Diverse. Sure, sure. We have people that come from several neighboring countries mm -hmm. to study in Belarus, Republic, not just Nigerians. Right, and, and what's, the, what's the population, what's the number that, uh, in terms of ratio to the, re, to the indigenous of Benin? Well, um, to the indigenous of Benin. Yeah, the Beninese. Okay, now, let me, let me clarify. Let me, let me answer the question by saying this. The same private universities in Benin Republic is being attended by both Beninese, Nigerians, Ghanaians, Togolese, whichever African country that they are coming from. Do you understand? And then their, the, the, their, their educational system allows every student coming in, either from Francophone or Anglophone country, 
to study in their own local language, provided that the school is following the um, the criteria or the, the the yeah the curriculum, and then the 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 standard of the country that they've laid down, provided you have, you don't have problem with them. So, which now takes me to my the main question: Why do you think that the, the the minister labeled the students culprits? Well. Um, I wouldn't know, but I, I, would, I would leave that question to the minister to answer. But because you've, you're asking me now, um, let's, let's look at it from this angle. Students went to school. I think education is not a criminal activity. For you to label someone who goes to school a corporate, it, it's not a criminal activity, for crying out loud. They are, they are exercising their own right as well. They want to be educated. So for them to have even gone to, if you are, if you are, living there, if you are telling us that they are, they are culprits, that means the, the, the department that evaluates them should also be part. NYC that gives them, that take them, should also be part. And they too will be indicted in the whole process as well, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Education as well, because they accredited them enough to go for, for the so school, them the They have it. It's a very bulky book in, in their department there. You will see all those schools. Now, there's a list, the list that they even gave to the interministerial committee. Let them show us the list. I want to ask about responsibility for NANS now regarding the um, verification of these certificates that come from outside of Nigeria. Does your body hold any responsibility regarding these? Um, can I come to your body and say, I would like to check and see, maybe as an employer or another institution, to ask perhaps maybe there is some sort of infrastructure that you have to help also uh, um, verify certificates from uh, foreign universities. Yes, yes. As NANS diaspora, we, we, have, we, have our, we have our tentacles everywhere in the world, Europe, Asia, we have everywhere. We have representative everywhere. And then we even, in, the, in some of those schools, we, you, we, we have um, our members in those schools that help us check with all those things. And then we know that when you come to us, uh, we've, seen, we've gotten examples, we've gotten people come, coming to us, even parents. Mm -hmm. That's why you see some of those parents who come, when this whole issue starts, they, they approach us directly. That what are you people saying about this thing? What are you people saying? You people are there, you know what is going on. So as, as a body, employers can always come to us. We have our own way of confirming that, yes, this is a, a, a legit authentic. and authentic certificate from a school. That means this school is accredited. This school is, is genuine for your child to, to go there and school. We have our own me medium of checking that too as well. Mm. Well, luckily, Joshua, thank you very much. You're we welcome. appreciate your presence here and shedding plenty of light, especially from uh, your buddy as they have also um, responsibility when it comes to uh, the pupils or the students who have these certificates. Thank you very much for joining thank us you. on Breakfast Extra. Thank you so much.